This video is brought to you by... Man, we ain't hard to find, man. We downtown Baltimore, man. The heart of downtown, man. 215 West Saratoga Street, man. Come on through, man. Show some love, man. Yeah, you can't miss us. We out on the block with it. We right between Park Avenue and Howard Street, man. Come on through. Until you out of town, man. You want to get with us, man. Come on, come on through. Put this cool green on. Let everybody know, man, y'all with the city, man, that y'all riding with us, man, that y'all foot us, man. Y'all support what we got going on down here, man. Because this right here, man, it's going worldwide, and it's coming straight out of Baltimore, and it's going to be bigger than Ralph Lauren real soon, man. It's coming straight out the city, man, and it's this what it is. And once you put it on, you're going to see what I'm talking about, man. This the real deal. Come on down, man. If you can't come through and shop with us, shop with us online. Go online right now, man coolgreenclothing.com and shop with us man what's up fam it's your girl mrs tony two times and i'm back with another video in this episode of the baltimore way i'll be telling the story of devin wilson he was arrested and is accused of tragically taking his little brother's life everything in this story is alleged before we get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel. Go ahead and click that notification bell to get notified every time we upload. If you're rocking with the content, smash that like button. Feel free to share this video with everyone you know. Make sure you watch until the end to hear the whole story. All right, let's jump right into it. On December 30th, 2022 in West Baltimore, 18-year-old Devin Wilson was at home alone babysitting his four younger siblings ages 8 to 2 years old when things went terribly wrong. Later in the evening, Devin frantically called his mother to tell her that his little brother had been shot. Both parents arrived at the scene with the father arriving first. Devin allegedly told his stepfather that his brother harmed himself by accident. But documents say the father found the young boy in the front bedroom and a gun in Devin's bedroom. When Baltimore police arrived at the Presbury Street home, a neighbor who rushed over to help was performing CPR on the boy. The victim had a severe head wound with injuries to his back and shoulder. He was identified as eight-year-old Dylan King. He was rushed to the hospital where he sadly succumbed to his injuries. Reports say while at the home, officers heard loud crying and sobbing coming from one of the bedrooms. In the bedroom, police said, Dylan's older brother, Devin, wearing clothes that were stained red, was pointing a shotgun at his forehead and threatening to take his own life. One officer, however, convinced the young man to put the weapon down. Devin was arrested, but not criminally charged and was taken to a hospital for psychiatric evaluation. The medical examiner revealed that Dylan lost his life from a single gunshot wound. Detectives were investigating Dylan's slaying as a homicide. Police said they were able to disprove Devin's claims about Dylan's injuries being self-inflicted by the shot patterns in the room. According to CBS Baltimore, Inside the home, police found a black silver eagle pump action weapon with one cartridge in the tube, a spent 12 gauge shell, a live 12 gauge cartridge, an owner's manual, an empty box of three pit bull 00 buck with a heavy duty slug and two cell phones. A blanket with a hole was also recovered from a front bedroom. During the investigation, police found out that Devin had recently expressed an interest in shooting guns, according to his stepfather, and was taken to an indoor gun range for his 18th birthday. Devin's stepfather also told investigators that Devin traded a puppy for the weapon. The investigation revealed that the person who traded the weapon for the puppy was not known. According to police, 
The trade is not considered illegal because Devin was 18 years old at the time with no known criminal background and a shotgun was not considered a regulated firearm. Tragically, Dylan's untimely slaying shook the entire neighborhood. Dylan was described as a good kid with a silly personality. Dylan was a third grader at the elementary school, just blocks away from his home. He was loved and was said to be everyone's best friend. Dylan was a ball of life and had a smile that would light up a room. He was kind, compassionate, and protective of his family and those he loved. Family members and family friends said Dylan loved playing sports and video games and recently had started playing recreation basketball in Baltimore County. Despite his small size, Dylan had a take charge personality. He was known to read a person their rights as if he was the oldest of the bunch. Dylan was one of 12 siblings with eight brothers and three sisters. Their relationships were described as an inseparable bond. A GoFundMe for Dylan was set up by a family friend to help with funeral costs and arrangements. He was laid to rest on January 13th, 2023. On January 17th, 2023, Dylan's older brother, Devin, was charged with first degree and second degree murder and assault. He is being held without bail and his next court date is scheduled for February 15, 2023. Devin Wilson is innocent until proven guilty. Wow fam, what a sad story. May Dylan King continue to rest peacefully. My deepest and most heartfelt condolences to the family and loved ones. My prayers are with them during this difficult time. I can't imagine what they're going through right now. It's just unimaginable grasping what may have led up to this horrible situation. If Devin is responsible, why did he do it? It's just really sad all around the board. Dylan was so young and so full of life. It's, it's just heartbreaking, fam. Fam, share your thoughts on this story in the comments below. Again, my condolences to the family. All right, fam, that's it for this episode of The Baltimore Way. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is your girl, Mrs. Tony Two Times, and I'm out.